not much here. Uh, I was asked, you know, where's the next level up to go over and start shorting, and that would be above the 12,300 area. So that's what I'm going to be looking forward to doing. Um, you know, we, we, now this is something that I want to go over and uh, have people understand. Um, if you see right in here the volume and so forth, and the way the volume moves, uh, it is not the same as when we had the first initial move up here. And we did kind of create a kind of um, geometry uh, that makes sense and coupled with the volume and the ticks and many different elements that I, I go off of to go over and get a good understanding of the price dynamics. Uh, this is weaker. And uh, this right here compared to what you have here on the first initial move up, is reduced volume and um, so when we do pull back wherever that is from when we do pull back you're likely going to see a uh, faster move down is usually what happens with this type of uh, movement because what we're really focused on is here where the volume started and the bottoming and so forth of it when it crashed and so forth and you had that impetus to the downside and it went all the way down to the th even under 4,000. What was that low right there if we look? And it was around 37.82, right? So when I was buying and doubling up on my positions in crypto, you know, I doubled my crypto exposure. Remember when I was telling you back then? And uh, well, how can you go above 100%? Well, kind of easy if I doubled the amount. Um, you know, I, I went all into the this. Uh, this was also with silver and so forth. So, you know, I, I went from holdings that I had in other places like real estate and other things. And I basically converted into crypto and silver and those as uh, stocks too. Um, but I already had the stocks, so that doesn't really count. Um, I just had some good uh, returns off of the positions that I was already in. So I was able to capitalize on that. But this move down, when we had this move that dropped all the way down here, um, and then we reversed back up to where we dropped from, uh, this cleared out a great deal of um, the downside momentum. And we made that big move up to the 10,000 range, and then the volume over here expanded again. Uh, it was a little bit up and down initially, which is normal because when the market's going over and converting, you'll get smaller candles and so forth. And then your bigger volume push, and then you get the bigger moves up. And then we consolidated, right? And you see the volume reducing. I want you to focus on that right there. That's kind of important. It elongated and it reduced. And now it's expanded over here. Um, but you have some interesting things uh, occurring, like this one candle right here. You see that one right there that dropped way down, went way down. That shows you a great deal of weakness right there. And, you know, that is a, a signal. It's kind of a sign. Uh, it's not filled out, but it's a sign. And you have a sea monster type of pattern off the lows here. You have not a full retracement, nothing's really retraced. Uh, the only thing that we had over here was one move down and it never even reached over here if I remember correctly. It got very close, it, it actually went down to the 8100 area, but it didn't go all the way down to that 7900. So that left some price dynamics to the downside. Um, so that means more than likely when we get the up move here and we pull back, it will be a more severe pullback. Uh, I've seen one chart where the, you guys were showing um, uh, a wolf wave type of pattern. And wolf waves are, I gotta tell you, statistically, they're kind of very gambling. But they're um, also very good at denoting tops or topping type of price action. So that's a good sign to get one in that type of uh, this area between the 10,000 to the um, 
uh, 12,000 area. So it, it's not, it, Wolfways are not something I really go off of more than price action. Uh, they're not deterministic uh, enough. Uh, they're very, um, uh, from my experience, uh, they're more of an indicator than something I would use to trade off of. I don't know of any good wolf wave pattern traders that last any length of time, <laughs> if that tells you anything. But the volume expansion right here, it's reduced. It's not that great. This over here, very apathetic and consolidation upwards. So when we do get an upwards move, uh, I would expect this over here as an indicator, and I would expect us to drop back pretty hard. Uh, but the next level up that I'm going to be shorting is at the 12,300 and above level. And I'm going to be more enthusiastic about shorting because we're getting to numbers that I'm kind of comfortable with. And I can see good geometry and good, you know, uh, price action for a future move down of a larger amount uh, is the only way I can put it. Um, so I will get back into it and... Uh, uh, again, there's not much to do until we get under this level here. It's, nothing has changed. I'm looking for under the 8,000. And right now, I don't really have any pattern. The last thing that I traded over here was over from this one, this pattern right here. And that already worked out very quickly, as you saw with that drop. And that's basically it. So we're waiting for under 8,000. And I'll just be holding any move upward that we get from 12,300. And we'll go from there. Other than that, I don't have to tell you about silver, my second most favorite thing in the world. It keeps moving upwards, and you know where my target is on there. It goes all the way back up to this uh, mid-30s range. Um, you know, so I'm waiting. I sold 25% of it when it hit above 19, which I didn't like doing, and I was right, unfortunately. Um, so I'm now waiting for the mid 30s and that's all there is and we're right in the 29 range and yep just holding and waiting and that's the theme of the theme of it all right now and I don't see anything else out in the marketplace that's really interests me um, so I'm going to focus on these two since they're my biggest holdings Bitcoin and silver and I'll just wait 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 and wait other than that I'll talk to you guys later in the week and have a great week.